and I'm looking at you like this because I tried doing your reading three times. The first time the camera froze, Scorpio. The second time the battery ran low when I was like three minutes into your reading. And then guess what? The third time I actually finished your reading. It was an excellent, excellent reading. And uh, I upload it to my laptop and I look over it before I upload. I always do this. I, I look over my videos before I upload them to YouTube. And I did that with your video and everything seemed fine for the first two minutes of your reading. And then all of a sudden the, the video just freezes. And it keeps going. The time keeps going. But it's just one single shot of me like. And I'm like what is going on? So that was a complete fail, Scorpio. I'm not going to lie to you. You guys are heavy, heavy, heavy right now. A lot of negative energy, a lot of confusion. In Spanish, we say, Están pesados, Scorpio. Están pesadísimos. Now, if I'm speaking Spanish, you know it's, you know it's serious. My goodness, necesitan que limpiarse con un huevo. I just said you guys need to cleanse yourself with an egg. <laughs> that is a thing in the Spanish community, Hispanic community. We clean our energy with an egg. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about that. It works, but I don't know, Scorpio. I'm going to have to perform a cleansing on myself after I do your reading because there is some secrets, there is some lies, some heavy confusion, things that want to be kept in the dark. But here I am, keeping my cool. So let's see. Scorpio, let me know what's going on with you guys in the comments. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's try this one more time. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of May. If this doesn't work out, Scorpio, I'll see y'all next week. <laughs> Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. Sun, moon, and rising. In Scorpio, in love for the month of May. This is for your love interest. Or maybe it's them keeping secrets. This is about your love interest. That special person. Hopefully they're special. Well, they have to be. That's why you're here, Scorpio. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. In love. What are they thinking, doing, feeling in regards to you, Scorpio, this month of May? Let's find out, Scorpio. Sun, moon, and rising. Sun, moon, and rising. In Scorpio, this is for your love interest. Anyone that you find yourself connected to, involved with, thinking about. As long as they know you exist, Scorpio, this is this reading is good for them. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. I'm going to shuffle two more times and we're going to get started, Scorpio. Let's see. I am very persistent. I don't give up. So whatever needs to come out is going to come out. Let's see. The first card represents uh, this person's present position of significance in regards to you, Scorpio. So let's see. You see? I'm not playing. We have the tower. The tower. You know what? In your last reading, the one that I completed, the first card was the devil. Now we have the tower. Shocking revelations. People doing things they're not supposed to be doing. The tower. Shocking news. 
false constructions of reality tumbling down the tower is here and it's slapping some people around wake up it's time to wake up the tower what is aiding or crossing this tower this is your energy as well scorpio i believe this is aries too the tower Wow. This card came out in the same position. And um, I'm willing to provide a link below for that reading so that you can see the first uh, several minutes of that reading and how the video just freezes. The second card in that reading was the High Priestess as well. And here it is again in the same position. Guys, I don't play, okay? I am a highly sensitive empath. I am a psychic medium. And then I'm also a tarot reader. So, I get down to the to the matter here, okay? The high priestess Things are being kept in the dark. Shocking. What? Things that will leave you with your mouth open. High Priestess. What is hidden? This is the subconscious mind. What you are not aware about. What are they thinking? They're thinking about keeping something hidden. The tower. Let's see. Their thoughts. What are they thinking? Air energy. Mental space. What's up there, Scorpio? Let's see. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. This is holding on. Not wanting to share. Not wanting to give. This is the person that restricts themselves. Doesn't allow themselves to move forward to do certain things. Because they are afraid to lose. Goodness, what is this? We have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. This is the Walking Away. Three of Cups, Celebration, Reunion, and then we have the Page of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There is someone here, this person, this is their reading, sneaking away. Seeing perhaps an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this is someone younger, Page of Coins, Three of Cups, talks about reunion, celebration, could be going out, having drinks, that type of environment, where are you going, they're not telling you the truth. I'm telling you, you guys, I tried doing this, your reading, three times. I almost gave up, but I said, no, just stick it through. And that happens when there is things that are in the dark that people are holding on tight to. Let's see, what's in the past? Resisting. 
can resist me. Let's see. What is in the past that is influencing this tower and this high priestess? Somebody's doing things they're not supposed to be doing. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that uh, breaks, for example, families apart. People get hurt. The tower, the high priestess, that is why they don't want it to come out. And I'm not trying to get anyone in trouble, right? This is my job. <laughs> This is what I do every month. I get on YouTube and I give a reading. Let's see. What is in the past? Look at that. Five of Swords. Betrayal. Deceit. Lies. Cheating, backstabbing, looking out for themselves. Again, this has been going on for a while. Five of Swords. For some of you, there could be a friend here as well. Could be younger, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could have something to do with this. Three of Cups represents friendship in their thoughts this person Scorpio is holding on tight what is beneath them what is beneath them you cancer Scorpio Pisces clarify this Queen of Cups. Let's clarify this Queen of Cups. My goodness. Queen of Cups. Page of Swords. I hope you guys can see that my camera acts up sometimes. This is the page of swords. You could be spying on them as well, Scorpio. What is beneath them? Page of swords can represent uh, spying. The page of swords is very inquisitive. They want to know everything. They are everywhere what is this it caught my attention two cards fell because i saw the king of cups king of cups cancer scorpio pisces this is you and then we have the empress the empress taurus libra The Empress represents a mother. Let's clarify this Empress. Let's clarify this Empress. I need to check something. Let's clarify this Empress. Empress. We have the Seven of Swords. For those of you that are familiar with tarot, you know the Seven of Swords is not a good card. The Seven of Swords, one-upping, lying, cheating, stealing, betraying, all of that. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's something getting out, Scorpio. 
something is going to rattle things up. We have the, this is the eight, look at that, the eight of wands. The eight of wands. The eight of wands represents communication. Fast moving comes out of nowhere, falls from the sky, lands on your lap. Talks about favorable circumstances as well. King of Wands, there could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius of significance. Seven of Swords, there's going to be news about a betrayal. It's going to come out, Scorpio. For many of you, this is the page of wands that jumped. There's a lot of pages. Pages represent children. There could be someone pregnant or there could be children involved. Perhaps that is why it is so shocking. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There could be a younger individual involved here. A marriage. If it's not a marriage, uh, some sort of domestic partnership, a long-term relationship that uh, produced children. We have this Empress, the Mother card. future knight of coins again well we have the page of coins over there Taurus Virgo Capricorn Knights represent news. The coin suit represents the physical, material things that you can touch, feel, see, smell. And then we have the Ten of Cups. Speaks about family emotional fulfillment perhaps I'm covering that someone has a family there's something what's the most shocking thing you can think of let's see for some of you that is the case let's clarify this ten of cups We have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There is heavy fire and heavy earth. Knight of... There's going to be a, in the near future, somebody's walking away and they're moving towards something else. The reason I say that, uh, take a look at this, these two nights. They're going different directions. I really hope you guys can see this. They're going different directions. One is going this way, the other one's going that way. And right in the middle, we have this Ten of Cups.
How do they see themselves? How do they see themselves? How do they see themselves? They see themselves as the Eight of Swords. They see themselves as stuck. How am I going to get out of this one? Stuck. In the Rider deck. And here and there I'm going to use the Rider deck as a point of reference. Because it is a, a universal deck and a lot of a lot of people are familiar with it. In the Rider deck, this is a person that is blindfolded and there is eight swords around them and they're stuck in the middle like a gel. And they aren't feeling restricted, they're feeling stuck, they're experiencing a lot of uh, mental, emotional turmoil, anguish here. But it's all an illusion. They're not really physically stuck. They just think they are. They feel like they are. Because of their present circumstances. Their environment. Worried. They see themselves as worried. What is in the environment? What is around them? What is around them? Seven of Wands challenges being questioned the seven of wands in the rider deck this is a person that has one wand and there's six other wands down below and uh there's six people down there and each one has a wand in their hand and they're trying to reach this person that is elevated up here they're trying to reach them so they can hit them with the wand the seven of wands speaks about Having to stand up for yourself. Having to prove yourself. There is demanding people. And there have they have to answer to them. Seven of Wands. So this person is feeling challenged in the environment, right? There's opposition. A lot of negative energy coming towards them and they're feeling overwhelmed trying to push all of that away get away get away get away which can manifest as other people circumstances events that life throws at you whatever the case there is a sense of being overwhelmed a lot happening a lot of challenges bumps in the road unexpected in the environment what is this we have the hanged man this is Pisces energy again feeling stuck this person is there's this being stuck in time in a sense being stuck in time Seeing things from a different perspective. Being in a point in their life right now. Being thrown right into this. Whatever's happening with them. And feeling like there's no way out. Also doing it to themselves. The hangman. What's going on here? What do they hope for? What do they desire? What do they hope for? What do they desire? Will of Fortune. Divine Intervention, right? They wish for Divine Intervention because they've gotten themselves... into something here they want luck they want help from the angels this month of May 
What is the outcome? What is the outcome? This didn't want to come out, guys. It didn't. What is the outcome? The Fool. The Fool. I have to do this because uh, the camera focuses on the, on the card. So... That gave me the sense of like somebody's gonna get the boot, you know, the full. Also, a brand new beginning. A brand new start. Let's clarify this full. Can also represent a child, a kid. The full. The Fool. Let's clarify this Fool. Two cards. Look at that. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. An ending. In the Rider deck, the Ten of Swords is a person that is laying on the ground and they have ten swords on their back. So they're they're pretty much dead in, in the Ten of Swords, but it's mer metaphorical, metaphorical death. So uh, the Ten of Swords speaks about a person that uh, learns a very difficult lesson. They see things differently. It speaks about betrayal, being deeply hurt. We have the Six of Swords, which speaks about acceptance. This is a person that accepts that their present circumstances are no longer favorable. Wherever they find themselves, it's not working for them anymore so they move on and go and search for greener grass in the rider deck this is a person that gets on a boat and uh, they're going to the other side going in search for greener grass and uh, as they're going through the water right reaching the other side they're looking back so they're walking away with a heavy heart they don't want to leave but their present circumstances require for them to do so. So that is what I have for you, Scorpio, for your what are they thinking reading. By the way, guys, I'm having a sale from now to the end of May on my video readings. I'm going to provide a link below for those of you that are interested. So that's what I have, Scorpio. Have a good one. Bye.